students try to answer the questions quickly students these are lengthy questions and also try to memorize the points okay which are correct clear yeah. you will get to know once the questions are started okay okay students i think we are good to go we'll start the session let's see the first question students try to read the question carefully and try to answer it okay sustainable development goals national indicator framework progress report 2024 this question is an sdg nif framework report okay try to read the question and try to answer it okay so the question is Gross enrollment ratio in higher secondary education has increased from 48.32 in 2015-16 to dash in 21-22, according to this report. Yes, almost everyone is answering C, 57.6. Yes, students, try to answer quickly. Also, read the question carefully, students, because I have covered almost important points in this itself. Who has released the report? And for what purpose it is released? So try to read all the those things once. Okay. Yes, almost everyone is answering it. Option C. Yes, upper why is it audible? Okay. Yes, try to answer students. Yes, everyone is saying option C, 57.6 gross enrollment ratio in higher secondary education has increased from 48.32 in 2015-16 to dash in 21-22. So let's see the answer. The answer is option C students. It is 57.6. Okay. According to SDG NEEP framework, gross enrollment ratio in higher secondary education has increased from 48.32 in 2015 16 to 57.60 in 21-22. Okay. Next question. Sustainable Development Goals NIF Framework Progress Report 24 2024 is a comprehensive report by the Government of India. Which of the following statements regarding the report is incorrect? Read the statements carefully, students, and try to answer. Which of the following statements regarding the report is incorrect? Number of SNGs providing bank credit linkage has increased from 18.32 lakhs in 2015-16 to 44.15 lakhs in 23-24. Gross value added in agriculture per worker has increased from 61,427 to 87,609. Exclusive women SNG in bank linked SNGs has increased from 88.92% in 2015-16 to 97.53% and percentage of population using an improved drinking water source in rural areas has increased from 94.57% to 99.29%. Option E, none of the above. Yes, everybody is giving different, different answers. Try to answer students quickly. Read the statements carefully, okay? Take your time and read the statements carefully. Okay. Yes, students, the answer to this question is option E. All the given statements are correct. Okay. So read the statements again, students. Number of SSGs 44.15 lakh in 23-24. GVA in agriculture per worker, it is 87,609 in 23-24. These are points. They can ask how much is this, like that itself, okay? And SHGs in bank-linked SHGs is women is 97.53% in 23-24. And 99.29% have improved drinking water sources in rural areas in 23-24, okay? And also this point, students, I have added this point also. Installed renewable energy capacity in the country has shown a steady increase in value from 63.25 watts per capita in 2014-15 to 136.56 watts per capita in 23-24. This is also an important point. Okay? Clear? Try to note, note down the points also, students, if possible.
Is it clear, students? Can we move on to next question? Okay. Is the speed is fine or do we have to go slower, students? Just let me know once because this is the beginning of the session. So, okay. If you are asking to go slow, Okay, students, I'll try to make it as slow as possible. Okay. We have many questions to cover, students. So that's why I'm going a little faster. Okay. Let's see the next question, students. According to SDG NIF progress report 2024, maternal mortality rate has decreased from 130 per 1 lakh live births in 2014-16 to dash per 1 lakh live births in 2018-20. Options 94, 97, 93, 88, 76. Easy question, students. Everybody should be able to answer this. MMR has been decreased from 130 per 1 lakh live births to. Answer is option B, students, 97 per 1 lakh live births in 2018-20. Okay. Answer is option B is the correct option. MMR has been declined from 130 per 1 lakh live births. In 2014-16 to 97 per 1 lakh live births in 2018-20. And also the under 5 mortality rate has been declined from 43 per 1000 live births in 2015 to 32. Okay. 32 per 1000 live births in 2020. Clear? It has already been achieved students. Target has been achieved. Okay. Clear students, next question. Consider the following statements based on the Global Gender Gap Report 2024 and identify the current ones. Read the statements carefully students and choose the option. This is regarding Global Gender Gap Report 2024. So which edition, you have to know which edition of the report, 18th edition, it is released by World Economic Forum and how many dimensions are there and which has stopped the index, this, this thing, and what is the score of this, and what is the rank of India, and what is the score of India. These are the important points. I have covered almost all this in one question itself. Try to answer, students. So everybody is saying, most of the you people are saying, B, few are saying, E. You are saying E. Okay, students, let's see the answer. Answer is option E, students. All the given statements are correct. Okay. So the, it is an 18th edition report. 18th edition report. And it is released by World Economic Forum. And it has five key dimensions. Iceland topped the report with a score of 93.5% followed by Finland and Norway, India has been ranked 129th in 2024 index with a score of 0. 0.641. Okay, clear students? No students, it is five dimension. I will check it again if there is any mistake, okay? Okay, okay students, we will take discussions at the later. We will complete the questions and then we will take up the discussions, okay? Okay, students, let's see the ne next question. Which of the following statements regarding global gender gap report 2024 is incorrect? Read the statements and try to answer students. Which of the following statements regarding global gender gap report is incorrect? World has closed 78.5% of gender gap, but at a current pace, it it will take 134 years to reach full parity and Europe leads 2024 regional rankings having closed 75% of its gap in 2024 while the Middle East and North Africa ranked last among the all the regions. Largest gap is seen in political participation of women. India has scored, secured a score of 0.964 in education sub-index with a rank of 112. Option E, none of them. Okay, few are saying C, few are saying D, few are saying E. Oh, 
Okay, students, let's see the answer. Statement A is incorrect, students. World has closed 68.5% of gender gap, but at current pace, it will take 134 years to reach full parity. Okay, the other three statements are correct. Statement A is incorrect. It has to be 68.5% of gender gap. Okay, clear? Okay, students, let's see the next question. UNICEF has recently released its Child Nutrition Report 2024, highlighting the severe level of child food poverty globally. According to the report, globally dash percent of children are living in severe food, food child food poverty in early childhood amounting to 181 million children under 5 years of age. Percentage of children living in severe child food poverty in India is dash percent. So globally, how much it is? And in India, how much percent it is? Try to answer, students. Yes, few are saying E, few are saying D, few are saying C. Globally, how much percent of children are living in severe food poverty? Okay, and in India, how much percent it is? According to the Child Nutrition Report 2024. Okay. Okay, students, let's see the answer. D is the correct option, students. Globally, one in four children, that is 27%, are living in severe childhood poverty in early childhood, amounting to 181 million children under five years of age. Percentage of children living in severe child food poverty in India is 40%. So, 27% globally, 40% in India. Students, I have covered almost in the questions itself, all important points in the questions itself. So, try to memorize the points also, options, okay? Because I have covered most of the important points from this itself. That is why I didn't make other, another slide to explain the important points again, okay? Okay, next question, students. The severe child food poverty is driving child nutrition under nutrition and prevalence of severe child food poverty is three times higher in countries with high prevalence of child stunting. According to Child Nutrition Report 2024, which one of the following is the major driver of severe child food poverty? Poor food environment, poor feeding practices, household income and poverty. Okay, if you are saying A, if you are saying C, if you are saying E. Okay, students, the answer to this question is option E. All the options are major drivers of severe childhood poverty, poor food environment, Poor feeding practices, household income, and poverty. Clear? Okay. Next question, students. The WMO Global Annual to Decadal Climate Update 2024-28 is issued by the WMO, provides a synthesis of climate predictions for the next five years. Which of the following statements regarding the report is incorrect? Read the statements carefully and answer, students. Yes, Shaker, I'm trying to do as quickly as possible. Others also should catch up with you, right? Okay. Try to give the answer, students. Yes, students, the answer to this question is option E. All the given statements are correct. Okay, so try now read the statements. Okay, global means near surface temperature for each year between 2024-28 is predicted to be between 1.1 to 1.9 degrees Celsius. 
Next, annual report mentions that there is a 80% likelihood that annual average global temperature will temporarily exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels for at least one of the next five years. Next, 47% likelihood that global temperature averaged over five-year period will exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial era. Uh, predictions of CIS from March 24-28 suggest that further reductions in CIS concentration in the Barents, Bering Sea and Sea of Ostok. All the given statements are correct. So try to read the statements again. These are all recent reports, students. Most of the reports I have taken from last three months itself. May, June, July, August. Okay. Okay, students, let's see the next question. Can we move on to the next question? Okay. Next question, students. Recently, the ILO's International Labor Organization has released World Employment and Social Outlook Trends 2024 report, which highlighted that global unemployment rate is set to increase in 2024 and growing inequalities and stagnant productivity are causes of concern. Which of the following statements regarding the report is incorrect? Statement 1 is global unemployment rate stood at 5.3% in 2023 and it is predicted to be 5.7% in 2024. Jobs gap rate is in 2023 was 8.2% in high income countries and low income group it is 20.5%. 402 million persons are without a job but wanting to work in 2024. And then number of workers in informal employment has grown from approximately 1.5 billion, 7 billion in 2005 to 2 billion in 2024. Try to answer students. Try to attempt students. Even if you don't know, like pull this thing, try to attempt. Okay, students, the answer to this question is statement A is incorrect. Okay, the global unemployment rate is projected at 4.9% in 2024. It is not 5.7%, it is 4.9%, slightly lower than in 2023 and a downward revision from previous projection of 5.2%. Clear? The other three statements are correct. Statement A is incorrect. For 2024, it is 4.9%. Clear, students? Okay, let's move on to next question, students. Fostering Effective Energy Transition 2024 report is a report based on the Energy Transition Index that evaluates 120 countries on their energy system performance and readiness for secure, sustainable and inclusive energy systems. According to the report, clean energy infrastructure investment reached 1.8 trillion in 2023. This is an important student. 1.8 trillion in 2023, clean energy infrastructure investments. Okay. The report released by, the report is released by Dash and India is ranked Dash in ETA according to the report. The report is released by Dash and India is ranked Dash. What is the rank of India in Energy Transition Index? And it report is released by whom? Yes, students, most of you are answering option A. This is an easy question. We'll see the answer. It is A, students. A is the correct option. The report is released by World Economic Forum and India ranks 63rd out of 120 countries in Energy Transition Index. 63rd out of 120 countries and report is released by World Economic Forum and Clean Energy Infrastructure Investments reached 1.8 trillion in 2023. Clear? This, this report is directly related to the syllabus as well. So this is very important for the examination for this year. Okay, students, we'll go on to next question.
consider the following statements based on the world energy investment 2024 report recently released by international energy agency and identify the correct ones which of the above statements are correct read the statements carefully students try to answer Yes, most of you are saying option E. Yeah. Okay, students, let's see the answer. Option D is the correct option, students. Only third statement is correct. Clean Global clean energy investment hit 2 trillion in 2024. In the earlier question, we have seen 1.8 trillion according to that report. According to this report, it is 2 trillion in 2024, doubling the amount going into fossil fuels. Solar power investment outspaces all other electricity sources projected to reach 500 billion. It is not 1000 billion, it is 500 billion in 2024. That is why option statement 1 and 2 are incorrect. Clear? Clear, students? Okay, let's move on to next question. The recently published State of Food Security and Nutrition in the World, SOFI 2024 report, revealed a grim picture of the global hunger crisis, underscoring the dire need for immediate and coordinated action. Which of the following statements regarding the findings of the report is incorrect? Read the statements and try to answer students. Between 730 million and 757 million people were undernourished in 2023, ref reflecting a significant increase from 2019 levels. Significant increase. Approximately 2.33 billion people experienced moderate or severe food insecurity in 2023, with highest numbers in Africa. Around 2.8 billion people cannot afford healthy diet, highlighting the urgent need for economic reforms and support, and then Women, especially in low income and rural areas, face greater challenges in accessing nutrition food. Okay, few are saying option A, few are saying option E. Yes, students, the answer to this question is option E. All the given statements are correct. Option A is also correct, okay? Between 730 million and 757 million people were undernourished in 2023, reflecting a significant increase from 2019 levels. Clear? All the given statements are correct. Okay, let's see the next question, students. Global Peace Index 2024 has been recently released by Institute for Economics and Peace. Which one of the following countries does not belong to the group of top five most peaceful countries across the world? Which of the following countries does not belong to the group of top five most peaceful countries across the world? Options Iceland, Ireland, Austria, New Zealand, Switzerland. Okay, few are saying C, Austria, few are giving option D. Yes, students, the answer to this question is option E. It is Switzerland. Switzerland is not in the top five. Top five peaceful countries are Iceland, Ireland, Austria, New Zealand, and Singapore. It is not Switzerland, it is Singapore. Clear? Is it clear, students? Option E is the correct option. Okay, next question. Global Peace Index 2024 has been recently released by Institute of for Economics and Peace. India has been ranked dash in the index as the overall level of peacefulness improved by 1.6% over past year. What is the rank of India in this index?
okay most of you are saying option d you are saying option b yes students the answer to this question is option c it is 116th rank clear option c is the correct Okay, India has been ranked 116th in the index as the overall level of peacefulness improved by 1.6% over past year. Option C is the correct option. Clear? Next question, students. According to World Bank's Global Economic Prospects Report, June 2024 report, which of the following statement is incorrect regarding the global economy? World Bank's Global Economic Prospects, June 2024 report. Which of the following statement is incorrect regarding the global economy? The students, let's see the answer. Statement C is incorrect, students. India's economic growth has been forecasted at 6.6% for fiscal year 24 and 6.7% for fiscal year 25. Clear? Option C is the incorrect statement. Option A is correct. 2.75% global economic growth has been forecasted to 2.75% for fiscal year 25. Clear? Option C is the incorrect statement. Okay, students, let's see the next question. Consider the following statements based on the Sustainable Development Report 2024 and identify the correct ones. Which of the following statements are correct? It has been released by UN Sustainable Development Solutions Network, SDG Transformation Center. Finland has topped the report, followed by Sweden and Denmark. India has been ranked 109 with a score of 63.99. Sustainable Development Report 2024. Okay, few are saying A, few are saying E. Students, answer is option E. All the given statements are correct. Read the statements again. Sustainable Development Report 2024. It has been released by UNSDSN. Finland topped the index, followed by Sweden and Denmark. India's rank is 109th with a score of 63.99. Here, you have covered almost all the important points from this report in the question itself. Is it clear, students? Okay, let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statements regarding SDG 4 Quality Education Index Indicators from the SDGs National Indicator Framework Progress Report 2024. Regarding SDG 4 Quality Education, these are the statements. Which of the following statements are correct? Gross enrollment ratio in higher secondary education increased from 48.32% to 57.6%. Tertiary education GER increased 28.4% in 21-22. And proportion of schools with access to electricity was 89.3% in Yes, students, let's see the answer. Option E, students, all the given statements are correct. Okay. Gross enrollment ratio, this we have already discussed in the first question itself. 57.6% in 2022. Next, GAR for tertiary education is 28.4%. Proportion of schools with access to electricity was 89.3% in 23-24. Clear? 
Next question, students. World's Trade Statistical Review looks into the latest trends in global trade with in-depth analysis of what is being traded and who the key players are. Consider the following statements based on World Trade Statistics 2023 and identify the correct statements. It is released by WTO and is published every year on Statistics Day. In 2023, World Trade in Goods and Commercial Services fell on average by 2% to USD. 30.5 trillion, trillion and share of services in global trade decreased to 75.3% from 77.8% in 2022, while for goods it is increased from 22.2% to 24.7%. Try to answer students quickly. Yes, let's see the answer, students. Option B is the correct option, students. Share of goods in global trade decreased. Okay, this is not services. Services has increased, whereas goods, it has decreased. I have interchanged it. Okay, share of goods in global trade decreased to 75.3% from 77.8% in 2022, while services, it has been increased to 24.7%. Clear? Next question, students. According to World Trade Statistics 2023 report released by WTO, Dash has topped the list of top exporters in world merchandise merchandise trade 2023 and Dash was on top among importers. Which is the top importer? Which is the top exporter? That is the question. Options China, Russia, USA, India, China, USA, Saudi Arabia, UAE, China, UAE. Students, the answer to this question is option C. Okay, China is the top exporter in world merchandise trade, whereas USA is the top importer. Clear? Okay, students, let's see the next question. According to World Trade Statistics 2023 report released by WTO, agriculture exports from India dropped in 2023 to 51 billion from 55 billion in 2022. India has been ranked dash in exports of agri products. What is the rank of India in exports of agricultural products? 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 5th. Yes, students, the answer to this is option B, 8th rank. India has been ranked 8th in exports of agricultural products and agri exports from India dropped in 2023 to 51 billion from 55 billion. Clear? Next question. According to World Tariffs Profile 2024 report, India is ranked 2nd just behind the US among World WTO members in initiating and imposing anti-dumping duties in 2023. India currently has 133 national anti-dumping measures affecting 418 products. Which of the following organization has released the report? World Tariffs Profile 2024 report has been released by. Yes, students, the answer to this is option D. It is released by WTO and UNCTAD. Okay. Both A and B. Option D is the correct option. World Tariffs Profile 2024 report is released by WTO and UNCTAD. Here, next question. Time Magazine recently released its list of world's greatest places of 2024 featuring 100 extraordinary destinations to explore. Which one of the following destinations are featured in the list of top 100 world's greatest places of 2024? Museum of Solutions, Nar Restaurant, Manam Chocolate. Yes, students, the answer to this is option E, all ABC. Okay, 
can anybody tell me from which places all these are museum installations is from where nar restaurant is from where manam chocolate is from where yes nar is from him okay yes <laughs> Nar restaurant is from Himachal Pradesh. Manam chocolate is from Hyderabad students. Museum of Solutions is from Mumbai. Clear? Let's see the next question. Sovereign Wealth Fund Institute has recently released the ranking of central banks of different countries with respect to their net worth assets. Federal Reserve System of USA ranks as the world's richest central bank with assets worth $7.84 trillion. Dollars. What is the rank of Reserve Bank of India in the mentioned list? What is the rank of India in the mentioned list? 6th rank, 8th rank, 9th, 10th, 12th. Yes, few are saying 8th, few are saying 6th rank. Yes, students, the answer to this question is option E. India has been ranked, uh, RBI has been ranked 12th around the world. Okay, RBI's balance sheet grew by 11.08% year on year to 70.47 trillion. As of March 7, 31st, 2024. Okay, 12th rank. Remember that. Clear? Next question, students. SDG India Index 2023-24 report titled Towards Vikshit Bharat Sustainable Progress Inclusive Growth highlights India's significant strides towards achieving the SDGs. The index serves as a barometer for measuring progress towards Vikshit Bharat 20 at 2047. Which of the following statements is correct according to the report? Read the statements and try to answer students. It is the fourth edition of the report released by Niti Aayog. Composite score of India improved from 57 to 66 in 2020-21. Kerala and Uttarakhand achieved the highest score of 79. It measures and tracks the national and subnational progress of SDGs of all states and duties using 113 indicators. Yes, students, the answer is option E. All the given statements are correct. It is the fourth edition of the report released by Niti Aayog. Composite score is 71 in 23-24. Kerala and Uttarakhand achieved the highest score of 79. It measures and tracks the national and subnational progress of SDGs on 113 indicators. Clear? Okay, next question, students. World Population Prospects 2024 is the 28th edition of the UN Population Estimates and Projections. It presents population estimates from the 1950s to the present for 237 countries or areas underpinned by analysis of historical demographic trends. The report forecasts that world population will continue to swell over the next several decades, growing to from 8.2 billion people in 2024 to a peak of nearly 1%. 10.3 billion people in 50-60 years. According to report, globally, the life expectancy in 2023 was dash and total fertility rate is dash. What is the TFR and life expectancy? Yes, you are saying option A, you are saying C, you are saying E. Try to answer students quickly. We'll move on to next questions. Yes, students, the answer is option A. Option A is the correct answer. Life expectancy is 73.2 years. Global fertility rate is 2.25 births per woman. Clear? Next question. Sorry, students. World Population Prospects 2024 is the 28th edition of the year report. 
the report has been released by who has released this report easy question students UNDESA, UN FTA, UNDP, World Bank, UNICEF. Yes, students, the answer is option A, UNDESA. The report has been released by United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs Population Division. Clear? Yeah. Next question. Consider the following statements based on the world population prospects 2024 and identify the incorrect ones. China, currently the world's second most populous country, is expected to experience the largest absolute population loss between 2024-25 with a decline of 204 million people. India's population is projected to be 1.45 billion in 2024. India's population is projected to peak at 1.69 billion in 2054 and then decline by 12% to 1.5 billion in by 2100. Identify the incorrect statement students. Yes, let's see the answer students. The answer is option E, students. All the given statements are correct. Okay. Option E is the correct one. All the given statements are correct. Here, 1.45 billion, India's population, 1.45 billion in 2024, 1.69 billion in 2054, and then 1.5 billion in 2000. Clear? Next question. RBI has announced the, that the financial inclusion index has risen to dash in March 2024 up from 60.1 in March 2023, indicating a significant progress in financial inclusion across the country. FI index is a comprehensive measure of financial inclusion ranging from 0 to 100, with 0 representing complete financial inclusion and 100 indicating full financial inclusion. It consists of three main parameters, access, usage, and quality. The index is based on DASH indicators covering banking, investment, insurance, postal services, and pensions. Choose the appropriate option to fill in the blanks. How many indicators and what is the FI index in March 2024? Yes, if you are saying C, if you are saying D. Yes, students, the answer is option C, students. Option C is the correct answer. RBI has announced FI index has given rise to 64.2 in March 2024. Okay, and index is based on 97 indicators covering banking, investment, insurance, postal services and pension. Clear? Let's go on to next question. Artificial Intelligence Preparedness Index. AIPA is prepared based on the sum of four key dimensions. Digital infrastructure, human capital, innovation, and economic integration and regulations, and ethics. The report has been released by. AIPA in report has been released by. Options World Bank, OECD, IMF, World Economic Forum, UNDP. Yes, students, the answer is option C, IMF. Artificial Intelligence Preparedness Index is released by IMF. Next question, AIPA, which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the index? Artificial Intelligence Preparedness Index, which of the following statement is incorrect? Singapore is the country most prepared for AI with a score of 0.8. India has been ranked 72nd with an overall score of 0.492. South Sudan is the least prepared country at 174th rank. Emerging markets are moderately placed with an index value of 0.26, none of the above. Yes, students, the answer is 
option e all the given statements are correct singapore is first rank india 72nd rank with an overall score of 0.492 emerging markets score is 0.46 and south sudan least prepared with 174th rank here next question consider the following statements based on digital payments index rbi releases dpa to capture the extent of digitization of payments across the country DPA is calculated with March 2012 as base year. Composite RBA DPA comprises of five broad parameters that enable measurement of deepening and penetration of digital payments. RBA's DPA stood at 445.5 at the end of March 2024 as compared to 418.77 in September and 395.57 in March 2020. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Yes, students, the answer to this is option A. Statement 1 is incorrect because 2018 is the base year. Base year is 2018. So, statement was 1 is incorrect. Other two statements are correct. Remember this, March 2024, RBI DPI is 445.5. Clear? Next question, students. IMF recently published a working paper titled Advancing India Structural Transformation and Catch Up to the Technology Frontier. This paper examines India's economic growth and structural transformation. Which of the following statements according to the report is incorrect? Sorry. Oh. Uh, I have given the option directly, students. Well, for this thing. Read the statements once. All the given statements are correct. Sorry for this thing. I don't know why. Yeah. Read read the statement for the students. I have given an answer directly. So Is it clear, students? Can we move on to the next question? Okay, let's see the next question, students. Consider the following statements regarding the economic achievements highlighted in the report Advancing India's Structural Transformation and Catch Up to the Technology Frontier, released by IMF. India's real GDP growth has averaged over six percent since 2000 leading to higher level living standards and significant reduction in multidimensional poverty india is one of the largest producers of cereals milks and pulses india is the largest importer of jewelry and generic drugs in the world which of the following statement is incorrect Yes, students, statement C is incorrect, 3 is incorrect, because India is the largest exporter of jewelry and generic drugs in the world. Okay, C is the correct option. Statement 3 is incorrect, because India is the largest exporter of jewelry and generic drugs in the world. Clear? Next question, students. Union Minister for Education, Sri Dharmendra Pradhan, released the India Rankings 2024, which implements the National Institutional Rankings Framework drafted for this purpose by the Ministry of Education in 2015. This is the ninth consecutive edition of India Rankings of HAIs in India. Which of the following is not one of the parameters of the ranking? Which of the following is not one of the parameters of the ranking?
students the answer is all are the parameters of the rankings okay five parameters are teaching learning and resources graduation outcome outreach and inclusivity perception research and professional practice there are five parameters so all are parameters okay next question union minister for education shri dharmendra pradhan released the india rankings 2024 which one of the following institution has stopped the india rankings 2024 Options I am Hyderabad, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, IIC Bangalore. India rankings 2024. Which of the following has stopped the rankings? Yes, students, the answer is option D, IIT Madras. Here. In overall category, IIT Madras retains its first position for the sixth consecutive year. Clear? Next question. Which of the following statement is incorrect with respect to India rankings 2024? Which of the following statements is incorrect? Read the statements and answer question. Yes, almost everyone is answering correctly. Option E is the incorrect statement, students. Because Indian Agricultural Research Institute, New Delhi takes the top slot in agriculture and allied sectors for the second consecutive year. The four statements are correct. National Law School University of India University, Bangalore retains first position in law. IIT Roorkere in architecture and planning. IISA Bangalore in universities category. Jamia Hamdar, New Delhi, tops the ranking in policy sector. Here, next question. The 2024 Environmental Performance Index provides a data-driven summary of sustainability worldwide. It ranks 180 countries based on 58 performance indicators across 11 issue categories, including climate change, performance, environmental health, and ecosystem vitality. Which of the following country leads the index by reducing its greenhouse gas emissions by 59% from 1990 levels? Options Greece, Finland, UK, Estonia, Latvia. Remember the this thing also, students, who releases the report? Yale Center for Environmental Law and Policy and Columbia Center for International Earth Science Information Network. Yes, students. Let's see the answer. Estonia leads the index by reducing its greenhouse gas emissions by 59% from 1990 levels. Option D is the correct answer. Next question. India has been ranked dash out of 180 countries with an overall score of 27.6. What is the rank of India in 2024 EPA index? Yes, students, the answer is option B. India ranks 176th out of 180 countries with a 27.6 points, placing above only Pakistan, Vietnam, Laos, and Myanmar. These are the bottom four countries, Pakistan, Vietnam, Laos, and Myanmar. Clear? Next question. Dash has been adjudged as the best state in horticulture in the prestigious Agricultural Leadership Awards 2024, instituted by the Department of Horticulture, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Options Manipur, Sikkim, Nagaland, Meghalaya, Assam. Yes, students, the answer is option C. Nagaland has been adjusted as the best state in horticulture in the prestigious Agriculture Leadership Awards 2024. Next question. The government has announced to launch Agri-Fund for Startups and Rural Entrepreneurs to support startups and agripreneurs through investment in sector-specific, sector-agnostic and debt alternative investment funds. 
which of the following subsidiary of NABARD will be the fund manager of AgriSure? Yes, easy question, students. Yes, option C is the correct answer. NAB Ventures is the fund manager of AgriSure. Clear? The fund will be set up with an initial corpus of 750 crores with 250 crores each from NABARD and Ministry of Agriculture and 250 from other institutions. Next question, students. Global Livability Index 2024 has been released by Economic Intelligence Unit based on the ass assessment on 30 indicators divided into five categories. Which of the following country top the index? Global Livability Index. Oh. Yes, students, I have given the answer. It is option B. Vienna, Austria has topped the index for third time in a row. Clear? Next question, students. Travel and Tourism Development Index 2024 is a second edition of the index that evolved from Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index Series released by World Economic Forum in collaboration with the University of Surrey. According to report, India has been ranked dash with dash topping the index for second time. Travel and Tourism Development Index 2024. What is the rank of India and which country has topped the index? Yes, students, the answer is option A. Okay, top is USA, Spain, and Japan, and India has been ranked 39th. Score of 4.25. Clear? Next question. According to the Container Port Performance Index 2023, released by World Bank with external contribution from S&P Global Market Intelligence, India has dash ports in the top 100 with dash being top ranked in the 19th position. How many ports are there in the top 100? Dash is the top ranked port in 19th position. Right. Yes, students, I have given the answer. India has 9 ports in top 100. Top 3 is 19th Vishakapatnam, 27th Mundra Port Gujarat, 41st Pipawa Gujarat. Global top is Yangshan Port China. Yangshan Port, China. Clear? Yeah. Next question. According to NABARD Annual Report 23-24, in the provisional estimates of national income, agriculture GVA growth rate was revised to dash. Dash percent. What is the agricultural GVA growth rate? 1.3, 1.2, 1.5, 1.4, According to NABARD Annual Report. Yes, students, the answer is option D, 1.4%. Agriculture GVA growth rate was revised to 1.4%. Remember these points also, students. Horticultural output in fiscal year 24 is 352.2 million tons. Shows a decline from 355.5 million tons. Credit flow to agriculture registered a growth of 13.6% during fiscal year 2024, which was higher than nominal growth in agriculture GVA at 5.4%. These are important points from NABARD annual report. Okay, next question, students. Based on the findings, of global trends forced displacement in 2023 report which of the following statements are incorrect global trends forced displacement in 2023 report 6.5 million people displaced returned to their areas or countries of origin in 2023 68.3 million people re remained internally displaced due to conflict and violence largest proportion of refugees globally were from afghanistan and syria which of the following statement is incorrect?
yes students answer is option e all the given statements are true okay next question students the world investment report 2024 has been recently released by unc tat which one of the following country is the top in terms of fta outflows in 2023 world investment report unc tat which one of the following countries is the top in terms of fta outflows china usa japan uk russia Yes, students, the answer is option B. USA is top in terms of FTA outflows in 2023. India has been ranked 20th. India's rank is 20th. Remember that. Clear? Yeah. Next question. Recently, the greening and restoration of wasteland and agroforestry report, grow report, and portal was launched by Niti Ayo. The GROW report aims to facilitate restoration projects for achieving national commitments of land degradation neutrality and restoring 26 million hectares of degraded land by 2030, as well as creating an additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion tons of CO2 equivalent. Which of the following statements regarding the report is incorrect? Read the statement, students, and try to answer. Yes, almost everyone is saying option E. Option E is the correct answer, students. All the given statements are correct. Grow portal is hosted on the Bowen platform. Agroforestry covers 8.65% of India's total geographic area. Wasteland 16.96% of total geographic area. And the agroforestry suitability index which provides a standardized index for prioritizing agroforestry interventions at the national level is one of the key feature of the portal. Clear yes, students, this is an important report students from Nobard point of view. Clear? Next question. The state of world's forest report 2024 highlights the transformative power of evidence-based innovation in the forest sector. It explores new technologies, successful policies, institutional changes, and ways of financing forest management. Which of the following statement regarding the report is incorrect? Yes, students, the answer is option A, students. A is incorrect. Incorrect statement is A. Russia is first. Russia, Brazil, Canada, and USA, and China account for 54% of the global forest area in descending order. Clear? Russia, Brazil, Canada, and USA, and China account for 54% of the global forest area in descending order. The other four statements are correct. Clear? Next question, students. The household consumption expenditure survey is conducted by NS4 every five years. It is designed to collect information on the consumption of goods and services by households. Recently, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation disclosed the general results of All India Household Consumption Expenditure Survey. According to the survey, 
dash state has the highest mpc in both rural and urban areas while dash has the lowest with 2466 for rural households and 4483 for urban households option sikkim chatisgarh goa maharashtra goa chatisgarh sikkim uttar pradesh meghalaya chatisgarh Yes, students, the answer is option A. Sikkim has the highest MPC in both rural and urban areas, while Chhattisgarh has lowest in rural and urban areas. Clear? Next question, students. Recently, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation disclosed the general res results of the uh, All India Household Consumption Expenditure Survey conducted from August 22 to July 2023. Which of the following statements regarding the survey is incorrect? Read the statements for us and write answer. Yes, students, the answer is option E. All the given statements are correct. Okay. All the given statements are correct, students. Read the statements again. Okay. Let's see the next question, students. A recent report titled Women in Leadership in Corporate India by a networking platform called LinkedIn has shown a persistent underrepresentation of women in leadership positions across Indian corporates. The percentage of women has remained stagnant below 30% for a considerable period. According to the report, which of the following sector has highest percentage of women in leadership positions? Options, accommodation and food services, information and media, education, government administration, financial services. Which of the following sector has highest percentage of women in leadership positions? Yes, students, the answer is option C. Education. Education has highest percentage of women in leadership positions. Education 30%, government administration 29%. These are the highest representation. Clear? Clear, students? Read the statement again. Uh, can we move on to the next question? Okay, next question. Recently, the Institute of, for Human Development and International Labour Organization have released a report titled India Employment Report 2024, which highlights that India's youth continue to grapple with soaring unemployment rates. Which of the following statements regarding the report is incorrect? India's youth accounted for almost 83% of unemployed workforce and share of youngsters in the total unemployment, it is 65.7% in 2022. Overall wage has remained low with 62% of unskilled casual agriculture workers and significant portion of youth lacks basic digital literacy skills with 75% unable to send emails with attachments. India is expected to have a migration rate of around 25% in 2020. And we'll have an urban population of around 607 million. Option E, none of them.
Yes, students. The answer to this question is option D. Option D is incorrect. India is expected to have a migration rate of around 40% in 2030. And we'll have an urban population of around 607 million. It is not 25%, it is 40%. Clear? Option D is the incorrect statement. Clear, students? Okay, Pranay, I'll wait. You can read the statements again. Yes, students will provide the PDF in the portal itself. Okay. Let's move on to the next question, students. Recently, New World Soil Health Index has been launched at the International Conference on Soils held in Morocco. Index will standardize measures for analyzing and comparing soil quality in different regions and ecosystems and identify trends of degradation or improvement. According to the report, currently dash percent of world's land is degraded, affecting 3.2 billion people, which is projected to increase to 90% by 2050. Dash percent of world's land is degraded currently. Option 65%, 50, 80, 75, 85. Can, you, can anybody tell me who released this index? Which organization has released this index? World Soil Health Index. Yes, students, it is UNESCO. Okay. Yes, students, the answer is option D. Currently, 75% of the world's land is affecting 3.2 people. In India, about 32% of land is under degradation and 25% is undergoing desertification. It is released by UNESCO. Here. Next question, students. Statistical report on value of agriculture output of for from agriculture and allied sectors 2024 report has been released by NSO Ministry of Statistics and Program Interpretation. The publication is a comprehensive and insightful document which provides detailed ta tables and analysis of values of outputs of agriculture, livestock, fisheries, forestry sectors from 2011 12 to 2022 20, 23. Which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the report? Which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the report? Read all the statements, students, before you will get an idea once. Yes, students, the answer to this is option A. Option A is the incorrect statement. The share of crop, livestock, forestry, and fishing subsectors in value of output of agriculture and allied sector were crops 54.3%, livestock 30.9%, forestry 7.9%, fishing 6.9%. Clear? Statement A is incorrect. Here, yes, students. Next question. Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, Government of India, recently released its 25th issue of its publication titled Women and Men in India 2023. Which of the following statements regarding the report is incorrect? Women and Men in India 2023 report by Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Which of the following statement is incorrect?
read the statement, students. Okay, the answer to this is option E, students. All the given statements are correct. Clear? Try to this. Remember this under five mortality rate we have discussed twice and maternal mortality rate 79, 97 and then India's population sex ratio will be increased to 952 by 2036. Clear? Next question, students. According to 2023, HDR Human Development Report titled Breaking the Gridlock, Reimagining Cooperation in Polarized World, released by UNDP. India ranks 134 on Global Human Development Index. Switzerland has been ranked number one. According to the report, India's GNI per capita has surged to USD dash, marking a 6.3 increase over the span of 12 months. What is India's GNI per capita? in USDs. Yes, students, the answer is option A, 6,951. India's GNI per capita has surged to USD 6,951, marking a 6.3% increase over the span of 12 months. Clear? Okay, students, that's it for today's session. Yes, yes, students will provide the PDF in the portal itself. Okay, thank you, students. All the best for the exams.